Welcome to my first Frequently Asked Questions video, or FAQ. Many of my viewers asked me what type of procedure I had when I had my total hip replacement in January of 2023. A lot of times they're asking this question because they think that the approach makes a big difference, but I don't think that's necessarily the case anymore. Since learning that I needed a total hip replacement, I've been learning a lot. I've been participating in a number of forums multiple hours per day, and through that I've learned from the experiences of hundreds of other hippies worldwide. And what I've learned is that most modern medical approaches seem to have good outcomes and quick recoveries. So personally, I think the important thing is to find a good surgeon, one that you trust, and one that has a low complication rate. If that surgeon is talking to you about restrictions like not being able to bend past 90 degrees and things like that, then you're probably dealing with someone using antiquated methods and you should probably look for a different surgeon. I had anterior, but a flavor of anterior called anterior-based muscle sparing and it involves going through a certain muscle group that's different than the traditional anterior approach. So what I've found is, again, with posterior, with anterior, there are multiple approaches. They're going in through different muscle groups, they're approaching the surgery slightly differently. There's a third approach called lateral, but that seems to be less common. 10 or 15 years ago, it appears that it was very important to know whether you're going with an anterior approach or a posterior approach, because the posterior approach typically had greater range of motion restrictions and involved cutting more muscle. What I've learned is that today there are many different forms of anterior and posterior approaches. They're called muscle sparing, they're called robotic assist, they're called super path, they have many different names. But again, the good news is, from what I can tell, all of these approaches seem to have very good outcomes and speedy recoveries due to all the advancements in medical science over the last decades. Thanks for watching today's video. If you liked today's video or found it at all helpful, please comment, like, and subscribe to my channel. These actions really help improve my rankings with the YouTube algorithms so that my videos can be seen by and be helpful to more people facing total hip replacement. Have a great day.